evil must be punished. Alrighty. <clears throat> I've, I've had a lot of requests. Some of them even in the comment section of some of my vids. Come on, Vaughn, uh, tell us, you know, tell us a juicy story, you know, okay? Um, we know you've got some juicy stories out there to tell. Alright, all right. All right, fine. You know, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one of the more stranger ones. Um, there was some guy posted, uh, whose name escapes me at the moment, or Orion some, something or other. He wanted to hear one of my more macabre stories. So, okay, fine. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one of my more stranger ones. Um, I was in a major city working on another project. Let's call it that, a project. <laughs> and, um, I'm, uh, there, there was like a deli uh, down the block from where my apartment was. So I thought, well, it's starting to get dark. I'll, I'll hit the deli, get me a turkey sandwich. And uh, everything seemed kind of quiet that evening, so, you know, I'll take a break. So I'm walking down the sidewalk to, to the deli. And this chick, you know, she comes out, she says, I know who you are, man. I need some help. I need some real help real help and I could see that she wasn't bullshitting so I'm like okay fine you know what what's going on she says there's a dude with knives in the house man he's trying to kill my ass I'm like oh really well we'll see about that shit and so I start to walk back to the apartment and she's like I'm coming with you I said uh, no you're not and she's like oh yeah I am I'm not going back in that fucking house I said well all right fine come with me but stay out in the hallway so we get back to my place, she stands out in the hallway, I go back into the apartment, I get a, a pump shotgun, two smoke grenades, and my 45s. And we go back down to the uh, to, to her place down there. And um, so I go in there and, and um, I'm like, well, okay, you know, what, what the hell's going on? But I, I look around and there's like, there's, there's like knives stuck every fucking where, man. And I'm like, damn, what in the hell? What? It looked like a fucking war zone. There was knives stuck in everything. And, I, and she's like, see, see, I told you. I'm like, well, okay, all right, fine, fine. I, I believe your ass now. I mean, you know. So uh, I'm like, okay, well, where's this fucking prick at? And she's like, well, he's probably in the kitchen. I'm like, okay, okay, that, that works. Because I think the kitchen had only like one way in and one way out, if I'm not mistaken. I'm like, this is good. This, this works out great. I said, are you sure he's still in the house? She says, as far as I know, he's still in the house. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I start to open up the fucking kitchen door, and, you know, I get this I get this damn knife whizzing past my fucking ear, and I'm like, oh, damn, this guy's fucking good, okay? This guy's fucking good, man. You know, talk about fiction becoming reality. Holy shit, man, this guy makes Bullseye look like a fucking Cub Scout, all right? So, she's, uh, she's like, freaking, you know, because another fucking knife comes out of the kitchen, so I'm like, okay. So, you know, I, I stopped and I asked her, I said, uh, where the fuck's all these knives coming from? And she's like, I got a hundred piece set of knives for, for, for Christmas. I'm like, now you fucking tell me, lady. Jesus Christ, a hundred fucking knives? So, anyway, so I, I try to fucking pry open the door again, man. Here comes another fucking knife. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So I, so I fucking crack open the door, I toss in a fucking smoke grenade, I'll smoke this bastard out and grab a hold of his ass, may, find out what his major malfunction is, and then give the rest to the police, right? No harm, no foul. So I toss a smoke grenade in there, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I can see the fucking smoke coming out from under the, under the door, and I'm like, fuck, his ass should have been coming out by now, surely. So I, I crack open the fucking door again. Here comes another fucking knife. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm like, so I'm like, lady, where's where's the wall switch in there, man? So I can see what the fuck I'm doing. She's like, uh, the wall switch is on the far side of the room. I'm like, oh, swell. So I lunge into the fucking kitchen. And I have to lunge behind the fucking table. And as, as I lunge behind the table, you know, fat, fat, fat. 
you know, three three knives, man. Bam, just that quick, man. And I'm like, motherfuck, this guy's good. So I'm, I'm behind this fucking table, and I, I'm fucking, I, I get, a, I start crawling underneath these fucking chairs, you know. And as I'm crawling through the chairs, I mean, this guy is fucking great. Okay, he's fucking excellent. So I'm, I'm, I'm crawling under these fucking chairs. I finally get to the goddamn wall switch, so I leap up, hit the fucking wall switch, and I duck back down to the table again, just as a, another set of fucking knives are coming my way, all right? But then I can see what the fuck's going on. And there wasn't nobody there. There wasn't nobody there. And I, I poke up again, I, you know, I'll peer up over the fucking desk again, or table again, and... And no fucking body there. No, nobody was there. Damn it, nobody was there. Okay. So I crawl my ass under the fucking table and chairs again. I get out of that fucking kitchen, and I approach the lady. I said, "Look, lady, here's the problem. You don't need me. You need a fucking priest. Okay. <laughs> you need a fucking priest." All right, you get the priest in here with his with his holy water and, and and the rosary and all that shit. You get him to bless your fucking apartment, and you'll be fine, okay? But you don't need me, cause I ain't got nothing to shoot at. She's like, "What do you mean?" I said, "There's nobody there, lady. You got a fucking poltergeist, okay? You call your priest, get him to bless your fucking apartment. Everything's hunky dory, all right? So I I had to leave this." The, that particular state, that particular city, because I my other business was done, and um, so I don't I don't know if she ever called a priest and got it squared away or not. But uh, there's one of my stories, one of the more strange ones. <laughs> I've got quite a few strange ones actually, but that you know that was by request. So I thought, well, what the hell? I'll share it with you. Hope you enjoyed it.